attorney for Raymond Moody tells us this was one of the most unusual cases he's ever worked in his career. Moody pleaded guilty last week to kidnapping, raping and murdering Brittany Drexel. She disappeared from along Ocean Boulevard in April of 2009 and Moody admitted he and his then girlfriend drove up to Drexel as she was walking down the street and asked if she wanted to party. He says Drexel voluntarily got into the car before they drove to a campsite in Georgia. Georgetown. Ultimately, Moody says he sexually assaulted her, strangled her, and then buried her body. WMBF News reporter Ali Espinosa spoke with Moody's attorney earlier. She joins us live now from the control room. And Ali, what did his attorney say about working this case? Rachel Scott Bellamy revealed to me that he wasn't initially on this case. He says after Raymond Moody turned himself in, he knew this would be an unusual case. As your honor knows, most cases of this nature would be years to come to a conclusion. It was Mr. Moody's desire that we do this as soon as possible. Scott Bellamy has been a lawyer for over 30 years in the Grand Strand, but he says that Brittany Drexel case and representing her killer, Raymond Moody, was by far the most unusual case he's ever worked. But it, it's a tiring process. Um, with a case like this and of course meeting with Mr. Moody himself. Um, but I don't know that it's taken a toll on me, but it's, uh, it's been uh, an interesting case for me because uh, it is very different uh, than many cases. Bellamy says he wasn't familiar with Moody until he was called to represent him before Moody turned himself into his office in late April, 13 years after he kidnapped, raped, and murdered Brittany Drexel. After that, he says the process was fast. Uh, it's taken a significant amount of my time and effort and energies over the last, because it's been condensed in such a short period of time of meeting with law enforcement, meeting with prosecutors, and by law enforcement, you've got three separate agencies. So it's a lot of stuff to go through, uh, but everything was made available to us. Bellamy says he is planning on meeting with Moody once he is brought to the jail that he will spend the rest of his life in. Why do you think he, he waited 13 years to turn himself in? I, I cannot speak to that. Uh, obviously, I was not involved with him until right here at the end. So um, I couldn't comment on that. Moody is currently being held at the Kirkland Reception and Evaluation Center in Columbia. That will only be for the next month or two. As soon as we know where he will be for the rest of his life, we will update you. In the control room, Ali Espinosa, WMBF News.